Welcome back everyone and thanks again for joining us. We are here at the Tom Rose School for Professional Dog Trainers and today we are going to be teaching our dogs a send out. This is a fun exercise that you can teach your dogs at home even if you don't plan on competing. Let's go ahead and get started. Now we're going to do a send out outside for the first time with one of the imprinted puppies. What we're going to do is we've got a target set up over here at the telephone pole which is an upside down frisbee. So he's gonna walk out with the dog and put a piece of food on it. Now remember, we did this previously in the training building. So this is the first time the dog has done it outside. Okay, walk over and put your food on it. And now you're gonna walk away as far as you think you can go safely. I'll just start off with a short huh? one. I'll just start off with a short okay. one. Okay, get him in the heel position. Okay, point out the target. And you really would be better standing on your feet for this. Get used to doing that. Get him, okay. Very good, okay. Take him up, plant your food again. Uh, does the handler need to run with the dog or not? Uh, and that's kind of up to the handler. If you, again, are convinced in your own brain that the dog is gonna go, if you don't go, then you don't need to. But if the dog goes part way, you're gonna to have to run after him and take him to the target. Once you see him focus and point his head where he's supposed to go. Good dog, all right. Proper time to send him. If he's not gonna come, I would quit calling because you don't wanna train a dog that he doesn't have to come every time you call. Of course, you're not actually calling, you're just trying to encourage him might mention if we were using a word like come or here we would have to reinforce it because the dog is required to come to us in this case he's just trying to verbally encourage the dog to come so we're not really hurting the command or creating an issue okay do it again? yeah let's go a little bit further this time wait a minute put him down what? let's talk about that for a minute I, I didn't hear uh, but he said that you actually did call the dog and the dog refused to come to you. So now Ben is asking to get a flexi, a long line or something he can jerk the puppy to make him come to it. You don't want to do that here. This should be a motivational exercise. Uh, if you want to teach the dog to come when he's called, I would take him for a walk over here near the trees uh, where he's got lots of stuff to sniff, maybe well, one of these. Knows his recall, but that specific area, he likes to smell that post. Okay, well then, So, it, what it's gonna do is it could create avoidance of the post, because mm -hmm. he may not know why he's getting jerked. Even, oh, not, not necessarily a jerk, just I'm gonna let it keep tension, just like not, not pull him, but just say, Caesar, and back away slowly, so it's not like a pop, it's just like a free whenever the dog doesn't wanna get off the but that's and pull it. Probably not gonna teach him anything. Mm -hmm. You, he needs to receive some sort of a correction. He needs to know that when you call, you have to make him come. Okay. If he had been doing that up to now, he wouldn't be doing that. And you, you really don't want to, I, I think you can probably lose him in the weeds over here real easy if you yeah. walk him over there or go to a different pole. I just hate to do it here. I don't want to have, yeah. have a negative experience at this. Should I still try another send out or? Yeah, you could do that again. Graduate to the next step where there is no food. So you can pre pretend to put the food if you want to, but don't put it there. Okay, go back. Now you don't want to go so far this time. Uh, now you're going to send him, assuming he has been trained, he knows down, he does random sets and downs, he does downs in all different locations, he does it immediately without correction. Now you can do it here. And so when you send him, when he discovers there's no food, tell him his down command. Okay. Now, quit. Good, praise him. And do the, okay, you should do the magic trick. If, in this case, the handler made a huge mistake in that he fed the dog by hand, which means probably the next couple times if he does that, instead of the dog staying there as he approaches the dog is want to come to his hand because that's where the food's coming from oh so it's just like the articles yeah exactly okay. let's oh, try it again so do you want me to lift the frisbee up doing that or just 
put on the frisbee? I just flipped the frisbee and the food under there. Okay. You're going to do the magic trick, though. Okay. Yeah, that's my bad. Okay. So we're going to do this over again. And this time, the food is magically going to appear underneath it. Run. Plots. Good. Good. Got a nice quick plot. There. Yeah, okay. Free. By doing it this way, as opposed to feeding it by hand, we take away the interest in the handler, and the dog should not be interested in the handler. He should be interested in the target. Thanks again for watching. I hope everyone enjoyed today's episode. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. And of course, as always, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.